Right, we've just hooked the trailer up and uh, we're off to uh, fetch the David Brown back from uh, Shot Blasters. And hopefully they've painted it, so we're all excited to see what it looks like. So uh, we'll see you in a bit. Tractor. Stop round here, it's rough, that wheel's off the truck. That's it, you're through danger zone now. And we're here at the shop blasters. So uh, let's get out and get it loaded and find it. Here she is. Fresh coat of paint. Look at that. We've just got to try and pick it up now without marking it and get it on the on the trailer. That's it, it's on the trailer. It's on the trailer. Bit of touch up to do on some of the bits, we've just caught it with the straps, just little places like that, but we'll sort it. Get it strapped down. Steady on, hang on. Yeah, go on straight back at that. Straight back. Bit more. Probably in at that. Whoa. Yeah, you're all right there. Oh, yeah. The uh, little David Brown's back from the shop blasters. It's been curing as we say in uh, in the barn over the weekend Bob's back off his holidays all refreshed and uh, we're going to try and lift it off now and put the wheels back on then shove it back into the shed the workshop and uh, then we can start rebuilding it putting it back together so we're just going to try a lift here with this and uh, see what happens no I, I think you'll be all right with that Yeah, front's, front's off there. I think we've got that. Bless your reverse down. Yeah. Gleaming in the sunlight. We're having a bit of problem with these wheels, trying to get them on the straps, uh, hindering us really. So we're going to have to chock it up and drop it on some chocks. Watch out, Bob, it's coming down, I think. Or is it going up? It's going up. How many more do you need for this bike? Oh, that. What, so it's four equal? Yeah. Right, okay.
We've, uh, we've brought wheel nuts on one side and we've only got four to play with. We've got the front wheels on anyway. We're just uh, getting these back ones on, then we can wheel it in. Well then, once they're nipped, we might be able to just take weight with straps, just enough to pull wood out. Yeah, and then take them off. So it's back on its own four wheels now. Till we take them off again. <laughs> Do you have to take them off to put mud guards on, or can you get with that? Right. That's it then. The Duke's uh, happy about uh, getting all his wooden blocks back now because he hasn't been sleeping. He's had sleepless nights wondering about his wooden blocks, thinking they've gone missing. Yeah. It's ever so quiet, that engine. Zero emissions. Zero emissions, this one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, send it backwards, you have to take wheel though. Bob, Bob's steering. Yeah, you go on, you're alright, you're on loads of room. That's it. Put it so you can get all the way around it. I can't believe how quiet it is. That's it. Uh, just straighten it up, Bob. Straighten it up and go back a bit. Unless you. Uh... Yeah. Let's go back. We can. <laughs> right, other way, Bob. Now that'll do. Straighten it up when I think we're in. Whoa, straighten front wheels up. You're going off cock. Just back, just back till it's just on the edge of that concrete, and then we're all right. Then that'll do. Lovely. Straight to work underneath. Look, putting things back on. There's no stopping him. What a place to sleep, eh? What a place to curl up. There we go, it's uh, got its wheels back on and uh, we've put the starter motor back on. We've put the uh, dynamo back on and uh, a few bits of wiring with nobbles. We've got the seat to paint. And uh, yeah, it's coming back together. So a few more days tinkering about and I think it will be about ready. So down here, got the uh, oyster shell mud guards. We've just put a new piece of plate in there because that's uh, that was all corroded out. So I've welded that in. Just got to clean that up. There's some plates gone in here and here. Uh, still got some holes to cut and get some plates in. Then that can be uh, that can be painted. Got the inside. That's the other side of that one. So yeah, and so we get in there, run some uh, cork seal around the edge there, stop the moisture getting in, and then we'll put some uh, some stone chip on it, get that painted. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I don't know what these are. I've been told. I've been told that they're just a reflector, but that one's missing, that's broken. So I'm going to take that off and that's just somewhere to keep your uh, your pins. 
So yeah, so we'll uh, we'll clean that up. The other one's got one on as well. That's uh, that's down there on the floor. Yeah, that's got one, but there's no reflection, no pin. So this is the other mud guard. So we'll get that uh, couple of holes. I think that's for the light. I think that's the plow light and wire. So yeah, so there's not as much welding on that one. So we'll get that one cleaned up and get them in primer. Then we're uh, we're nearly there. And then uh, when that one's done, we can turn our attention to this one, which has been <laughs> sat here looking very sorry for itself for a long, long time. But uh, the good news is the engine's coming along. So uh, when that's done, we can get it back together and then strip all that down, get that off to the shot blasters, get that painted, start all over again. So, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, flatten the primer off on these uh, four tractor wheels, mini tractor. One of the subscribers, Paul, he's uh, brought them down to us and we uh, sorted them out for him. Shot blasted and primed them. We're going to paint them case red uh, tomorrow and then uh, he can come and get them back. So, yeah. So, your wheels are nearly done, Paul. Right, we're in the paint shop. We're going to do some painting. We've got these uh, little wheels. We primed them the other day. And uh, we're going to put some paint down. So, Paul, your wheels are coming. Here we go. David Brown uh, 880 oyster shell mud guards been shot blasted and um, we've just um, done all the welding we've welded all the holes up and we're just doing a little skimmer body filler and flatten it off before we uh, get some primer on there so uh, yeah there was like all holes across the top of here so we've welded all those up ground them back and we just uh, it's what the old cab used to be on. You had like an open canvas cab on the top. And uh, that's gone now. We sold that on eBay. So we've just got to get rid of all these little holes that's all been filled and plugged. And then uh, take the harshness of the shot blasting off. I mean, look, that's... I don't know you can see it or not. That's mega, mega rough there. And we've just got to take it down, get some primer on and then uh, paint it. So uh, we're nearly there, the other one's down there. Body filler's drying, so we'll get that sorted in a minute. And then uh, we're on to the paint later on. Bob's just had the uh, radiator refurbished and brought it back. Can, uh, we're just fitting it on now. Look at that. And we're just uh, putting some new, um, some brand new Jubilee hose clamps on. Just gotta find the right sizes. that right or oh, there's next size down Bob I think try that one that might it's either one of them two it's next size nice new shiny radiator right we've got the battery on batteries temporarily connected radiators on refitted new uh, hose clamps and we put the coolant in we've connected the battery lead up We've forgotten the key to start it, however, we found an old uh, JCB key and that fits it, so must be one key fits all plant in the 60s. First start, are we ready? It's out of gear, isn't it? <laughs> Will it start? <laughs> Oh, smoke on the battery terminal. 
There we are, it's running. Zero emissions. Bob's just checking water. I think we've got circulation. Calm down. See that's that's charging at 2.1 now, 12.1. So if you rev it up now, that should go up to 12.4. Well, that's, that's charging. Yeah. Yeah. So, 12.8 it was up to. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. It's a brand new clock with zero hours on it. 